Repaso Empo TV. We are here with Kenneth Thomas, DJ producer from Detroit. How is Miami treating you so far? Miami is uh, treating me great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, every year we're down here, and it's it's just one week of nonstop business and nonstop fun. So it's it's rare that you combine the two and just do it up for seven days in a row. Lots of lots of time to party, but also there's a lot of work coming up. We were talking earlier. You have uh, new productions coming out, new singles. Talk to us about your album, and there's a new concept there that we must know about. Yeah, I've just I've been working on a lot of projects, you know, over the last year that that I never really put out. I've kind of been sitting on and tweaking, and uh, you know, now it's kind of come up that I'm gonna, I'm going to do an album. You know, it's going to be a perfecto album, and um, just I've got a new track with my singer Colleen Riley, who sang on. Uh, Ghost in the Machine and Wish You Were Here, which was my single last year. Um, working on a couple other collaborations and talking to Jan Johnson about doing something. Maybe who knows, maybe I'll have Susie Del Vecchio do a little something on the album. And uh, a lot of a lot of good vocal tracks. Um, and then also some really cool instrumentals, some some trance, a little bit of tech house. You know, I, I'm really kind of spreading my wings. And it's going to be a multi uh, multi genre type album. That sounds amazing. I mean, you're also not only you know as a perfecto artist, but you're also an A and R. You work with Paul Oakenfold and you know pick out the music that come out in Perfecto. How how is that going? How does what's what's the magic that goes on behind the ears of both of you? Uh, it's it's going really well. Yeah, I, I'm A and R for Perfecto Records, which is obviously Paul Oakenfold's label. And A and R means that my job is to find new talent, new music for Paul to play, but also for Paul to sign to the label. And and it, it's just great. You know, I mean, it, it's it's wonderful that people in the industry they know that they can send me music. And so every day I open my email and I've got a handful of unsigned tracks, a lot of it are by, from brand new artists um, who are just finding their way out there and, and, and it's just great to be able to discover new music and be able to bring new music to the industry. Well being an A&R is a lot of work because you're basically you know discovering new talent so what what type of things do you look for personally? Um, I, I look for something that's a little bit different you know the, the sound of, of Perfecto and the sound of Paul Oakenfold has even even from the 90s has always been Kind of melodic and trancey, but but on a different tip. He's never really sounded like anybody else. It's it's always been, you know, you always had the big epic trance guys, but then you had the Oakenfold trance. There's no really other way to explain it than like the Oakenfold sound or the Perfecto sound. So um, it, yeah, I'm just looking for something that stands out. You know, the the kind of generic rolling epic um, Amsterdam type of sound. You know, it, it's good, but that we don't really lean towards that. We're looking for a little bit more soulful, a little bit more um, depth kind of, you know, a little more soul to it, you know, I guess, exactly, exactly, and, and a little bit slower, a little bit chunkier, you know, I, I, something a little bit more, it, it hits you a little bit deeper, you know, which is which has always been the sound of Oakenfold. How is it that you guys met? Um, you know, what's funny is, is you know, Paul's just, he, he's a world traveling guy, he meets a thousand people every day, um, every show, and, and I met him like five times before I even remembered who I was. Yeah, every time I meet him, I'll be like, hey, it's good to see you again, he'd be like, oh, it's nice to meet you, mate, you know, and I'm like, ah, we met before, but... But um, eventually, I started producing, and without him putting two and two together, he started playing my tracks. Like in 2004, uh, you know, it was, it was widely quoted that what he said was his biggest record that year was my track called Preen, which was my first record, and uh, I did it with Elevation from the Armada team. And Paul was huge on that. And when somebody finally connected the dots, like, hey, that kid in Detroit that's always hanging out is the same guy who did these records that you're playing. He was like, okay, we'll put together a meeting. And you know, we, we, we just started networking from then on. I started sending him tracks, and within a year I was signed and touring with him. So definitely some very special music to look forward to from Myth and Kenneth Thomas. And right now, where are you planning on touring? What's next for you in the next couple of months? Uh, there's a lot of stuff on the radar. I'm, I'm doing a couple more dates with Paul uh, next month. You know, we've got Miami. Um, I've, I've got a handful of uh, one-offs on my own around North America. There's even some Mexico? talk. Uh, hopefully, uh, I hope I'm coming back to Mexico. I love, I love coming out there, Mexico City, and and uh, it, it was a really fun show. You know, the, the crowd in, in Mexico, they they really are hungry for the music and very excited about the music. And I, I always, yeah, exactly, passionate, good, good word. Um, and and it's always, it's always a great time. So it's just a matter of finding, you know, the right promoter again and, and coming out and getting back out there. So hopefully, I will get there by the end of the year. And Hi, I'm Kenneth Thomas, and you are watching Empo TV.